know what this ability is. Adrenaline. I have to give other people a chance for XP. That's very gracious of you, Helson. Oh, I should have moved you forward. Bollocks. That's the whole reason I left you there. Oh, and you can attack twice with... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember the longsword being attacked twice. That's more like it. I see your dog. I raise you my own. What does adrenaline do? Ow! I get it, the skull clubs are basically just giant clubs, but still. Ow! Plus 4 AP. Interesting. Oh man. This is not good for Sergei. We may actually lose a Sergei here. Thankfully, these guys move really slowly. Sergei got his revenge. It's all good. Namanda leveled up. And we gained some of the 95 armors. That's good. 145 armor. Ooh, interesting. 
And then two-handed skull hammer. Worth 920. These things are not cheap. Adrenaline makes you go first next round. I see. Alright, so Nemanda really is pretty sodding well suited to two-handed work. So the question is, what do we do with him? I do like the uh, formation we have right now. It seems to be working for us. I mean, the other thing that we could do is make Sergei into a polearm. Because he has high attack, just like Helsen does. And would be actually, eventually, possibly even better at it than Helsen is. Nimunda just has that natural high melee defense. Though it does mean we lose our spearman on the flank. Well, not necessarily, because we can make somebody else the flank spear. One of these two. Actually, even better, one of these. Probably Antonio. Formation be like this. Yeah, I think this is going to work better. We need to get Sergei a proper pole arm. I regret having given you Steel Brow now. Oh well. Cathos is getting dissatisfied. Felt useless in reserve. Well, we have a couple of people wounded now. I don't know. No. We're still going to go with the tankiness. This formation's just been working out too well for us. I still want the cover on the edges. Spear. Fly off. Uh, how have I messed this up already? It's 
spear, flail, spear, flail, spear, flail. That's how. I'm going to put my two big tanks on the flanks. That's Nemanda and Grumbuskin. Then we've got the two rather weaker. Sadruski and Shokin, I think, are the weaker amongst my fighters. Then we've got the three main fighters, Mordred, Arachnos, and Antonio, who do the real damage. And then, yeah, Sergei, I think we are going to turn into a pole armor. We're just not going to have a two-hander. Because with the pole arm skill, it doesn't matter if they're right next to someone. I really regret taking Steel Brow now. See, this is why I don't like games where traits are just fixed like that. I prefer games where, like, skills go up through use. And if you happen to get a skill through using it a lot, then fantastic! How much does Mordred need to pillage and raid before he gets his title? Well, nobody said what title he gets yet. Oh yeah, the new helm. That's a good point. Do 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 do. Where is it? There. Well, I think it's a uh, pretty obvious who gets the new helm. There you go, Mordred. I love how the crude metal helmet is quite significantly better than the padded dented nasal helm. Alright, so everyone in the front row now has something suitable for their station. You could do something a little bit better. Let's give you that one. Oh no, even better. Let's give you that one. Mordred the donkey killer, Mordred the semi-important, Mordred the manic. None of those are really sticking out to me. Mordred the magnificent, Mordred the magnanimous, Mordred the marvelous. So these guys are now unfriendly. What exactly does unfriendly mean? Let's go and find out, shall we? <laughs> Why not kill the peasants? I don't need to kill peasants. After all, if I kill the peasants, who's going to make me all the stuff to loot when I go and pillage places? Mordred the Merciless. That sounds a little bit better. Mordred the Browbreaker. Okay. Right, do we have any food that's actually worth money? No, but we do have a bunch of furs. Which we would be selling almost at cost, so no, that does not sound like a great plan. Let's sell that. Let's sell... Badly broken. 
I don't know if these are actually good prices. Probably not. And by probably, I mean almost certainly not. No. Stop selling. A deserter. Deserters have received some martial training, but usually aren't too eager to put it to use. 950. Nah. Disgraced nobles or something like that. Aha! Kennel! Oh, I see. Warhounds are the northern ones. War dogs are the normal ones. Um, how many do I need? Two, four, one, two, three. Yeah, I need three. I think I'm going to buy just regular Warhounds. Olaf, Varg, and Snapper. No contracts here. That's fine. Mostly giving the archers one so that they have something with which to defend themselves. Oh right, we have the hide and bone armor as well, don't we? And a rusty mail coif, which you can use. And the hide and bone armor. 90, 95. That's a 95. That's a 95. 90. 90. So where else can we go? We can go to Wolfenfest. And then Sundorf. Oh no, Sandorf still doesn't like us. It's just Ottenberg that does. Weirdly. Mordred the Indomitable. I think I'm going to go with Merciless. In fact, I'm going I'm to put a list of those to vote. And we shall decide the good old-fashioned way. Manic. Brow. Breaker. Merciless. Indominable. Spider. Hater. Ottenberg is a keep, which means relations are dictated only by the noble house. <laughs> Democratic marauder. <laughs> mm, spider hater, I, I get what you're saying, but it, it's, it's not the best. Manic bow breaker, merciless and indomitable. Those ones I could accept. I'll give you another 30 seconds to think of some more. Oh, um... 
I know. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> If the one that I think should be the one doesn't become the one, I'm going to be very upset. Have a guess which one it is. There we are. Take a look. I think there are too many options here. It's going to split the vote too much. So maybe we'll do a runoff. The top three will do a runoff. So, get your votes in, get your votes in! Yeah, one's running away with it. <laughs> I am very happy to see that. Okay, I don't think we need to do a runoff. This is 80% yeah, of the vote already. Okay. I think we have decided. <laughs> Mordred has earned his title. Hopefully it fits in. Yes! Just! Mordred the Megalomaniac. Love it. As soon as I thought of that one, I was like, yes. It's got to be. Absolutely, it's got to be. Oh, man. Good stuff. Alright, so let's head down to Wolf and Vest. Just to see if there is a place that we can sell stuff a little bit better. Last furnace, scope pens, workshop. There should be a lot of tools here. No contracts. There are indeed a lot of tools. We could do with a few. No items that I particularly want to pick up. I think we're going to sell off all of the actual low-level gear. And I'm going to sell off these. 30 to 40, 35 to 45. Not as effective. I do like the axe hammers, though. We'll keep the axe hammers together. Sell a bunch of these. Some of the damaged items. You can sell the hatchets because hand axes are just the upgrade. I'm keeping the flails. I'm going to keep the blunt weapons. That's a great price for furs. Okay, so we've recouped some of our losses. Let's get some more tools so we can rebuild. Now, are any of these going to go off in, like, a day? Because we can just sell those. Okay. Good. Now next up, I want to make sure that all of my people have daggers. Those of you with knives will be upgrading. And make sure my back row has them. Most of them now do. And that's looking pretty sweet now. How much am I paying you, Cathos? I 
I think we'll release you. Paying compensation, gratuity, or pension for the time spent with the company will allow the dismissed to leave with dignity and something to start a new life with, and prevent others in the company from reacting with anger over the dismissal. Sure. Because that means we're not having to pay you going forwards. And I don't think we really need a backup archer. I've been thoroughly underwhelmed by their effectiveness. Oh yeah, training hall. Sparring fight. Have your man participate in a sparring fight with exper experienced opponents in various fighting styles. Bruises collected in lessons learned will result in 50% extra experience gained for the next battle. 35% for the next three battles. 20% for the next five battles. Different prices for different levels? Yes. Still bloody expensive though. I'll pass. Then the armorer is selling kite shields, but those are quite expensive. Wow, there's some seriously much higher level gear here than we've got. Coat of plates, 320 armor. Nice. And then a weaponsmith. Great sword. The Gruesome Reckoning. That's an enchanted weapon, I believe. Weapon skills build up minus three, f uh, less fatigue. Okay, I think we're golden. Uh, the only other thing is hiring. Butcher, miner, deserter, caravan, day tailor. Dis disown noble. Too expensive though. Way too expensive. I'd love to get out to Sandorf, but I don't really see the point in it. So I guess we're going to go and try to go past Isengrab again. And get back down to friendly territories and continue earning our fortunes. Also, we need to find 12 or more enemies to overcome. Which might well be best done in a camp or something. But we can, of course, attack a trading caravan. I mean, that works too. Engage. Make it so. When you dismiss someone, it automatically strips their gear. You actually hit something. Congratulations. Not a single shield between them. 